Dom Peltier started drawing cartoons at a young age and has never put his crayons down. While working as a video game designer, he published his very first work for a series of joke books. 50 very funny books later, he has translated his joke book success into the hilarious Lunchroom graphic novel series. Bonjour. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be either a comic book artist, an astronaut, or a famous baseball player. But since I'm afraid of height, there was no astronauting for me. And since I'm very, very bad at baseball, I didn't make it in the National Baseball League. So the only thing left on my bucket list was to become a comic book artist. So a few years ago, after years of being an illustrator, I decided to write my own comic books. And to do that, I created my first character. And that character is Leo. So I'm gonna draw him for you today. So when I created Leo, the first thing I had in mind was his hair. I've always wanted to create a character with the ugliest hair in the world. So I gave him a kind of haircut that was very famous when I was a kid, <laughs> big on top and very long in the back. So that's the hair I gave him. And Leo is the funny guy in the story. He's always a little bit goofy. He's always a little bit scared of everything. And I also gave Leo uh, braces like I used to have as a kid. And when it came time to dress him up, I decided to give him a hockey shirt and also on his hockey sweater, there's a letter A, because in the story, Leo is not really the captain of his adventure team. So I gave him the assistant position. And after creating Leo, I knew that I wanted to have another character in my comic book and I wanted her to be a girl. So I created Tia. And in the book, when we first meet Tia, it's her first day in a new school. And it's never an easy position to be in. And the first person she meets when she gets in the school is Leo. And Leo makes a little bit uh, fun of her for the way she dresses and the way she talks. But after a rough start, they do become best friends. And when I created Tia, I also wanted her to have spectacular hair. So I gave her the coolest haircut I could think about. And also on her shirt, instead of a hockey sweater, I made her a very long shirt. And in front of her shirt, I drew a unicorn. So Leo and Tia in the story, they discover that in their school, there's a super secret club. And that secret club is hidden behind a stamp club, a lunch club that's all about stamps. Because when I was a kid, my brother was an avid stamp collector and I never understood how that activity could be popular. So when I decided to hide a secret club inside of school, I thought that if it was hidden behind a STEM club, no one would be interested. And in my story, this old funny guy, it's Mr. Peabody, and he's the one who's the director of the secret club. And together with Leo and Tia, they discovered that in their school, in the basement, there's a alien. And that special alien with a moustache, who speaks alien, by the way. It was very fun in my comic books to create an alien language. So in that, st in that story, <laughs> the villain wants to lay eggs in the basement of the school and wants the eggs hatch, the babies alien are gonna eat everyone in the school. So the story is about Leo, Tia and Mr. Peabody trying to save the world and get rid of that big alien. So I hope you'll read the book. I hope you have a good time reading it and I hope you're gonna keep on having fun. So see you soon, bye. Why not upload your writing, your videos and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website. Thank you for joining us. 
See you again.